Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with another question from a boater uh, asking about how to go about traveling internationally with uh, different voltages and different frequencies aboard a sailboat. Uh, but this could apply also to small trawlers. You know, there are trawlers out there, 40, 45 maybe, that are going to do long distance passage making. But certainly sailors uh, that are smaller in size are going to be doing that. How do you go about doing that? Well, that's a problem that happens with a lot of European boats coming to North America or North American boats going to Europe. It gets worse, right? Because ultimately, if you're moving around and you're truly sailing to different ports, you're going to have to have a setup that allows you to connect to various types of docks or shore power systems um, and without your boat having to change as you get from one destination to the other. A typically good way to do that is to have all your uh, shore power connection uh, basically be through a battery charger and inverter combo. So what that would mean is the good news is the battery charger can have a high range of input voltages. Generally, it's going to be 100 to 240 or even 220. And they're going to also have a high range also for frequency, meaning they're going to take 50 hertz and 60 hertz. 50 hertz is uh, common in Europe, uh, 60 hertz common in North America, and it varies throughout the world. And so you're going to have basically your shore power set up um, going to a battery charger. Uh, the battery charger uh, is going to basically recharge the batteries but it will also in some ways offset your AC loads that are powered through your inverter. All of your AC loads are gonna be powered through your inverter and uh, the inverter is gonna take its power from the battery bank and the battery bank is gonna get recharged from the shore power. Now, Norm, obviously there's some limitations. Um, you know, you're going through two conversions, so it's not a very efficient way of getting AC to your boat, but it's a universal way to get AC to your boat. All our loads on boats um, are gonna be either wired uh, pretty much Battery charger is a good exception, and uh, battery chargers for laptops are another one, and phones and stuff like that. But pretty much all of them are going to basically either be set up with 50 hertz or 60 hertz. And uh, that's a pretty specific uh, frequency that you've got to buy to in terms of an input voltage. So what you do as a way to bypass that is simply have one device, the battery charger, that basically uh, powers all or offsets all the inverter loads by just sort of, but you're going to need a big battery charger. That's probably going to be a hundred amp, 12 volts, or even sometimes you're going to have two of them uh, or three of them. Uh, it all really depends on what is your continuous uh, AC loads or overall loads for the boat. You need to make sure that your battery charger, when you're connected to shore power, can offset all of that. It doesn't mean that the good news is with a battery charger and a battery, the battery can sustain more loads than are coming in naturally, but only for a sustained period of time, because eventually you're going to run out of batteries. So you can ride the peaks by using your battery bank, but eventually you're going to need to have less power consumption than you have um, available or less than you have available so that you can offset that and recharge your battery bank to be ready for the other peak. And that's a way of, and we've written articles about this um, on our website, feel like geeking out more about this topic it's a real thing many voters are encountering it especially as we leave one type of electrical grid uh, for another so great question and thanks for asking and for all of you out there safe boating and thanks for watching our channel much appreciated so if you're curious again go on our website and find out more answers and solutions with this sort of setup and thanks for asking and thanks for all of you for listening and tuning in